Facebook Live. Hello. This is uh, day 13, Facebook Live Challenge. Um, I missed a day yesterday because I had family in town and quite frankly, I just haven't really felt too much like posting with all the craziness going on. But um, anyway, upward and onward. So today, going to be talking about the three habits in 30 minutes. Uh, talked about the sweating and today I'm going to talk about the reading aspect of the three habits and um, before I do that gonna since reading is the theme the podcast I'm gonna plug for today is the 52 podcast uh, there's some guys out of LA and each week they consume an audiobook and then the following week they have a podcast discussing that book in great detail so it's really kind of cool kind of goes along with the theme of reading uh, check those guys out they always pick really good books and a lot of the books that uh, um, I got for my list came from their podcast and a lot of the books that they did I already had read as well so it's cool to get their perspective on some other good books um, so that's the podcast I want to plug the book that I'm gonna plug obviously to go for to go with reading is how to read a book <laughs> I felt like that was pretty fitting. This is a great book. It's pretty old. It's by Mortimer Adler and Charles Van Doren. Um, pretty old school, but it breaks down like how you should go about um, learning how to read in the most effective manner so that you can um, consume content quickly and retain it and, uh, and know whether or not it's a waste of your time. A lot of it, uh, some of the books that you come across maybe aren't necessarily that great, uh, but there are some bits and pieces of it. So this book kind of teaches you how to go through that. So the 52 podcast for reading books and how to read a book is my book for today. Um, so on that note, so the three habits in 30 minutes all take place in the morning. So it's a great way to kind of start your day. Um, I like to call it the way how I book in my day. And I do my reading in a couple of different ways ways uh, i try to read something spiritual or uh, spiritually uplifting something personally beneficial personal development type stuff and then also try to read something for pleasure uh, the two i do in the morning are the spiritual and the uplifting and the for fun stuff i do in the evening to get ready for bed um, so the book that i always jump to first is the bible obviously uh, you can pick any passage from there there's a reason why that book's been around for two thousand years um, it's good content to read um, worth your time. Um, the other thing that I try to read is something personal development. The reason why I say personal development, or the reason why I'm such a big fan of reading that content, because, because for me, that is like the cheat codes for life. You know, cheat codes for a video game, you can play a video game the traditional way, but if you have the cheat codes, you can get through it a lot faster, a lot easier, a lot more successfully. Well, for me, book, books are my cheat codes. They're what allow me extra information that I don't, oh, nice, um, that I don't normally, that other people don't normally get. They don't have that content. You reading those books gives you a leg up in almost every situation. So um, that in and of itself is a great excuse to start reading. Um, that being said, trying to start the reading process, if you haven't been a reader much of your life or you're not really into reading, uh, there's a couple ways you can go about it. You don't have to necessarily even start off just reading. Um, audio books are a great way to dip your toe into getting back into that mindset of reading. Um, there's plenty of places that you could pay to uh, get audio books. Um, you know the names, I'm not going to say them, but I prefer freebies or other ways that you can, or my goal is to always give you a free way to consume that content. So first and foremost, there are audiobooks on YouTube. You can find them there. A lot of the personal development stuff you can find in audio form on YouTube. So obviously that's free. The other big resource for me is the library. Um, you can get audiobooks from the library. You can get downloads for free. You can obviously check books out. Um, the process with checking books out if you haven't been to the library in a while though is you do have to these more popular books you need to get into the queue um, register and then you when the book becomes available uh, then you get to check it out a lot of the more popular books are not going to be readily available when you first decide that you want to read them so that's another good reason to have a lengthy list going of all the different books that you want to um, try to read I keep a running list. Um, it's just on an Excel spreadsheet. If anybody wants that list, uh, send me a DM, comment below, whatever. 
I'll send you that list and I've got links to a lot of my more popular books the ones that I think are the most important books are on the website www.8keystogreat.net go to the resources link that'll take you direct links to Amazon or to some other places last but not least uh, I like to buy books and the reason why I like to buy them is I like to read I like to have an, a tactile copy uh, to work with uh, when I'm done with that book I like to give it away I like to pay it forward to someone else I usually by the time I'm done reading that book I can specifically think of an individual that would get um, direct uh, help from that book and so I try to match the book with the individual so that's um, so in that case you know you're buying a lot of books uh, thrift books online is a place I go to get books they have both new and used books uh, used books are a great resource if you're going to be consuming a lot and you're not sure that you even want them or you're going to give them away, whatever. Used books are a great way to go, save you some cash. So those are the three, those are some of the different aspects about reading that to incorporate into your morning routine. Three habits in 30 minutes. Tomorrow I'll pick up with the last habit, and that's prayer. Um, Lord knows we could all use a little bit of that right now. So um, that's it for today and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.